Okay, this is, uh, this is the left front wheel, engine 22. Uh, these edges on the holes are a little acute. So what I'm gonna do is use a piece of scrap fire hose um, as, a, as a guard to keep from damaging my webbing that I'm gonna use for an anchor. There's not enough room to easily pass the webbing through and around the tire because of the brake drum housing. It's very little room and those are probably going to be hot. If you, this vehicle goes to a, a wreck or over the bank and we got a rig and anchor, this is going to be hot. Uh, if you stay out here on the rim, you're probably going to avoid that heat. So I've threaded my piece of scrap fire hose on there. This is inch and three quarter hose. And I'm going to go in and out here. Center. Equalize both ends. Basket hitch. One inch tubular nylon. Water nut. Locking carabiner. And I got a good anchor and I've protected my webbing from damage. Okay, this is the front end of uh, engine 22. It normally doesn't have any anchor points. Uh, it does have these recovery pintles that can be installed. Uh, the pintle with a locking pin, there's two of them and they're underneath the, the passenger seat or the officer's seat. And there's a compartment there, so there's two of these. Okay, so when this this gets installed into the opening. Of the, it looks like a Reese hitch. And then this pin has a little protrusion on it. it you put it in and rotate it until that locks in, until that pin locks in place. Okay. Once it's in place, you could put your one inch webbing right around that. It's pretty, it's very smooth. And make a basket hitch. Uh, safety pin, pin. I've got a piece of one inch webbing set up for a basket hitch for an anchor and I've got some fire hose just to protect it. Pin. Safety pin. And then I've got my basket hitch and a locking carabiner. And so I've got a, that's a pretty solid anchor right there. If I had to, I install the other one. I could put my belay on one and my main line on the other. So storage point, remember, is under the officer's seat for these. Okay, this is uh, the rear of engine 22 got the, the rear compartment open. I've removed a little generator and a positive pressure fan out of here. And you'll see there's two recovery anchor points there. Uh, those work great for a, um, rope anchors for a rescue system. So this side I've basket hitched to that with these commercially sewn um, this anchor strap, basket hitch, tri-link on it and then this side basket hitch, one inch tubular nylon, locking carabiner uh, this is a 15 foot uh, one inch webbing and the only issue you'll want to consider is if I've got to come off angle from the rear end of the truck what is going to rub? There's some sharp edges there. So take that into consideration uh, if you have to change the angle of pole or belay.